Okay everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we're going to be looking at the new beta that's been released, which is 1.14.60. It's got some new interesting features. I'm going to download it, install it, and talk you through the features one by one. Okay, so here we are on the new beta website. Beta? Beta? And this is how it looks, okay? So we click on these tabs on the left here and we can learn all about the new features. The big feature is that it's now available for homeschooling. You don't have to be part of an educational institution to get Minecraft education. Anyone can have it and have a go at the trial as well. We are going to look today at some of the features of this. I'll show you how it looks later on. But for now, let's have a look at how to download and install. Um, the link on the left there, download Minecraft. We go down to our um, our preferred uh, platform, for me it's Mac OS, and just download beta for Mac OS. There we go. Uh, so it pops up in the bottom left. The main thing you need to know is you need to uninstall the old version, or otherwise it won't work, okay? Um, one of the things they tell you is that you might lose all your old worlds, your previous saves. So let's put it to the test. Let's see if it works. So let's click play, view my worlds, and there they all are. So, you know, in my experience, all the worlds are still there. I think we should probably test one out to see if it works before we get too excited. Let's see. Marvelous. Yep, there it is. So I'm not going to guarantee that you won't lose your world files, uh, but certainly my experience was that they were all there. And not only that, they also work as well. So the other big thing is uh, new skins for the non-player characters, the NPCs. So if we scroll through the different appearances there, you'll notice that we've got some new um, skins there. They've got the teacher from Sustainability City, and we've got the construction workers and the honey bee people, <laughs> I think that's what they're called, from Sustainability City. They've moved those across for everyone to use, which is awesome. If they're going to make them anyway, they may as well. Uh, that's what it looks like. I think that looks cool. looks better than the other NCPs. Nice. So next, let's get, delve into the settings when you're creating a new world for your students. So the game settings now look a lot more like Bedrock. We've got an option to have a starting map, an option to have a bonus chest at the start for some uh, items that will help us out. And we scroll down and the rest of it kind of looks pretty similar. We've got mob loot, which is kind of new. So uh, if you kill an entity, an entity, a mob, it will drop loot for you. You can have that on or off. And tile drops. It's the same for if you break a block, does stuff pop out of that block? And uh, we can have that turned on or off for tile drop. Um, classroom settings are in a different tab now, which is useful. You don't have to scroll all the way down. They're all the same, apart from this new resource link at the bottom. So let's go ahead and type in youtube.com forward slash learn with Minecraft education. A little bit of shameless self-promotion there. And this will produce a button on the settings. And please do subscribe to the channel. Um, so we'll call the button YouTube. So the students can click that to access all of the fantastic resources on the Learn With Minecraft Education channel. So uh, we're going to click Host. And as you can see, we've got our chest there, starting chest with some items for us to maybe craft with or to use to get us started off. And we also have activated our starting map. So if we right click with that, we can see ourselves on the map and we can see what's around us in our immediate vicinity, which is pretty cool. All right, let's press Escape and look at some of the other new features for hosting our world. So. Everything looks the same, apart from this new share link button. And we can now copy and paste a link to our students. So we don't have to give them a join code. We can just copy and paste the link, and they will click it, and they will join the world. Even if they haven't got Minecraft Education open, it will open it. If they haven't got it installed, it will take them to the website to do it, to install it. So if we go to the settings, the world settings, and click our YouTube link, will it load up our Learn with Minecraft Education website? Yes, it will. 889 subscribers and um, full of quality content that you can access uh, to learn about Minecraft education. So that link worked. Seems absolutely fine. I think that's going to be useful. They recommend using kind of like Flipgrid and stuff like that so your students can access those. And uh, you can do that, of course, with NPCs as well. So those are some of the new features of the new beta. 
I think they're pretty good. It wasn't a massive update, but some really uh, good stuff that people had been asking for that's going to make life a lot easier for everybody. I know the big thing people wanted uh, was access for homeschooling, and you've got that. So um, I think well done to the chaps over at Minecraft Education and the team involved in getting this out to us. Um, there will be more, more updates in the future, I'm sure. If you do download the beta, make sure you give them some feedback on how everything's working for you. Um, but do please subscribe if you found today's video helpful or interesting or useful. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all later in the week.